Hi there, it's Tracy Daviero from Your VA Mentor. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We are talking about how to avoid rabbit holes in your social media marketing. Obviously, we know we all love social media. It's a great place to connect. Um, it doesn't cost you that much in, uh, well, it doesn't cost you anything usually in terms of money, unless you're running paid advertising, of course, but it does cost you an awful lot in time. And so, one of the things that we really want to consider is that um, we're making the best use of the time that we're spending there because we do a, a lot of us do use it some people use it exclusively to to market their business so you know that you're spending a lot of time there and you know that you want to be able to uh, make the return on investment as as good as possible you want to make sure that you're maximizing your time your efforts and that sometimes comes with a strategy, but also it comes with really being aware of how much time you're spending on social media. So avoiding those, um, those rabbit holes of getting in there and planning to do one thing and then you know spending time doing a million other things. It's really, really easy to you know, spend hours and hours on there. So we wanna make sure that we're not doing that. So I'm gonna talk today about three tips that you can use to make sure that your social media um, is under control and that you're really using it to help make your business move forward. The very first thing you need to do, and I'm talking, uh, you know, when I talk about managing your time and that kind of thing, I talk about blocking time, scheduling time. It's all about knowing where your time is going and rabbit holes are huge, right? That's a really important thing is that um, you need to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable. So to do something in a certain period of time and the best way i have found to do that and maybe it doesn't work for everybody but i know that you know i teach it a lot and my students seem to really like it a lot is take a bucket of time and whether that's 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 45 or whatever it is try not to do something like two or three hours because that's a huge huge bucket it's really long period of time to um, allow to you know to do anything but pick a certain period of time and decide to do whatever it is in that period of time. Um, and in that period of time, you don't just wanna know, okay, I'm gonna go on social media and I'm going to do something. You need to have a goal. I'm not just gonna go on Facebook for 20 minutes because that's not, that's not a goal, it's not a strategy, it's not effective. So you need to know what you wanna accomplish. And I'm not saying that you can't you know, putter around on social media at other times, but I'm talking in terms of marketing, you wanna make sure you have a really strategic reason for being there so that you know you're not dwindling hours and hours and hours away so so set a goal what is it that you want to accomplish you need to know this for every platform uh, every campaign and every post every single thing that you're putting down on social media really needs to have a purpose okay and there's you know there's lots of room for playing and that kind of thing too but when you um, set something like 15 or 20 minute bucket of time what can you get done in that period of time? I say to people, you know, um, reach out to three different people about your business and talk to them or, or about their business, you know? So if you wanna go in every single day and reach out to three people on LinkedIn or on uh, Facebook or, you know, you want to um, connect with people on Twitter, it's not just about putting in 20 scheduled posts on Twitter, it's about making those connections on every single platform. So whatever you can do in that 15 or 20 minutes, make that really focused time and have a goal for that time so that number one, you get something done. And number two, you can measure that, right? You're taking that 15 or 20 minutes, you're doing something very specific with it. And um, you know, that's your goal. Did you, did you reach your goal or did you not? Did you accomplish your goal or did you not? So that's the action step to go with that. Um, the second thing you wanna do is really set a time limit. Um, and this is for uh, anything that you plan to do on social media. This is, uh, avoiding a rabbit hole is a really, really difficult thing because often you don't even know you're in there, okay? So if you set that timer for 15 minutes, um, if you set a, a, a time period for 15 minutes, set a timer to go with it. You're not even going to realize how long 15 minutes is unless you actually do this exercise, okay? So set the timer to go off. We've all got alarms on our phones. You can take, you know, set it. And do the thing that you say that you wanna get done and wait for the beep to go off and see if you have extra time, um, probably, you know, you might have gotten derailed by something else. I know that I get distracted by, by what I see on social media too, but if you know what it is that you're looking to do, um, assess at the end of that 15 minutes, what did you get done? What threw you off course? Um, and 
did you sort of mix business and personal? That's one of the biggest things, right? It's, um, it's very easy to do, obviously, it's very social, but if you go on specifically for your business purpose for 15 or 20 minutes, you'll realize how long a period of time that is and how much you can actually get done. And so what happens is when you set that timer, and hopefully you have some time at the end of it, but if you don't, you can sort of assess why not, what happened when you got in there. And then what you can do is moving forward, you can adjust that. If, if you need 30 minutes for whatever it is that you're doing because you're having conversations with people or you, you know, I'm not sure why you would need more time than that, but whatever it is for you, you wanna set it up how it works for you. So I find that 15 minute increments are really, really helpful. Um, 20 minutes sometimes, it helps you really get focused on what you need to do. And then you can put those time blocks into your calendar all the time and save the social stuff, the, the personal stuff for other times outside of those scheduled times. And you'll find that you'll get an awful lot more done. And the third thing that you need to do is you really need to clarify your message. One of the things that um, we get really, uh, we get um, overwhelmed by is what content to post on social media. And so we kind of take, you know, everything that we know and we throw it all at the wall, right? And we figure we'll see, we'll see what sticks. But if you really know what your clients want to see, hear, or read about, whether it's video, whether it's, um, you know, not so much inspirational posts, I'll get to those in a second, but, um, you know, what is it that, that will make them look at you as the expert in doing what you do. That's what's really important. That's your marketing message. You're trying to get that across to people to show them that they should they should work with you. They need you, that you're so smart at what you do and, and that's really, really important. So um, you wanna make sure that the majority of your social media posts are about how you can help your clients. Not sales posts, they're not go to my website, go to my blog post, go to this, but they, they can be helpful things. And so a lot of people put up you know those medit, um, motivational quotes and motivation is great. Motivation is really, really good, especially when you're, you know, a solo business owner like all of us are. But it's not what your clients need to hear from you. So you need to be really cognizant, kind of, of the content you're putting out there. I would rather see tips about, say, if you're a bookkeeper, tips about how to manage your bookkeeping better, or you know, things that um, when you make more money you can you can do. So really focus your message on what it is that you think that they want to see, and then develop your contents around that. Okay, so the action for that, review your posts for last week. Um, how many were actually about helping clients? It's a really cool exercise because I bet you'll find that many of them aren't. So start to develop your content around how you actually help people. I hope those are three helpful tips for you this week and I will um, get back to you next time. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks so much.